Hi guys, this is a uh, video tutorial on how to mount an aftermarket bracket for a MOSFET recti regulator rectifier uh, for a GSXR uh, 750 or same for the 600 or maybe even the 1000 should be the same K7 2007 model. Sorry about in the video, I was in a rush when I was making the video on my phone and I mispronounced uh, MOSFET <laughs> Mos a few times just because it's a stupid thing try and say it 10 times fast anyway I hope you enjoy the video and um, I hope it helps out for you to mount the uh, things you're after thanks a lot enjoy okay this is what you do to get to your uh, regulator and state of, state of wiring all under here first you have to take your side cowlings off your tank take your seat off with two bolts here and on the other side with the seat, take a bolt off here, Allen key, pop the tank, get yourself a nice sort of strut to uh, support the tank while you work. Take the airbox cover off, there's one pipe here, and there's also a screw down in there, which is sometimes very hard to get to. So, not hard to get to, just you don't, might not know it's there, and that's in the middle, it screws into that hole there. Right, so next step will be to remove this. Now, to remove this, the bottom of the airbox, you have to go through your frame here. Through there is a screw head, and the same on the other side of the bike over there. And you have to loosen off the clamps that clamp onto the bottom of the intake manifold. Let's do that. Okay, once you twist the airbox out of the way, you can leave that pipe on if you want, just twist it out of the way. Keep it up there, or you can remove it, it's up to you. Uh, you see the clips I was talking about from the, from the intake manifold? They can just stay there, and we, when we put it back on, they go around the rubbers. Should be easy enough. And put them on the rubbers, it's actually easier, and then slide it on. Okay, so what you're after now is the wiring from this thing. But we'll get back to that. Okay, so once you've removed um, your airbox, you'll find these standard leads. This is actually, this one's normally inside there, plugged into the, into the, uh, this one, which is the lead that goes to your rectifier. Now, I've already done the MOFSET conversion and soldered the connections and heat shrunk them to the new connector for the MOFSET. I'm actually doing this video because I'm showing where that I'm going to change it. You can get the bracket that, that mounts it to the original one here, like this. But um, I'm a little bit worried about the, the plugs and the wires going really close to those extractors in there. So I'm going to make a bracket so that this sits about there somewhere. It's going to sit just like that on the side of the bike. Looks pretty gangster. And I'll still try and keep the old horn bracket and then just put another piece of metal on this one. So once you remove the wires you want to tape up this plug. This is the um, standard power. Uh, two, two positives in parallel and two negatives in parallel running to the battery. Or you can just leave it there and just taper up. Um, we'll do that and then we'll look at this other bracket. So guys, that um, plug that was in my hand with the two positive feeds and two negative feeds, that's um, actually the standard wiring to the battery in the bike from the regulator, the standard regulator. Um, with the new MOSFET uh, regulator rectifier you get, you'll get a new uh, leads that I'll show you later on in the video where to run them down to the battery. Um, yeah, so hopefully that clarifies that up. It's actually the plug that's on the right in this picture. Um, that's the female plug that comes from the standard regulator. Anyway, carry on. Okay, this is the standard bracket I fabricated. Well, the bracket I fabricated for the job. Um, I will remount the horn and put that back there like that. Pack this out a little bit, and so that 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 bracket can go and then bolt the uh, moss set moss moss set fit onto this. 
Hey guys, with this bracket, I had to um, pack it out from the bike, from the standard mounting points with some washers, about 6mm. I also drilled two holes um, and countersunk them so that the countersunk heads would fit underneath the rectifier. Um, and it, because I was using 6mm steel, um, it was thick enough for me to countersunk these heads and keep it nice and flat. Also, um, there was two holes at either end, ignore that one in the middle, two holes at either end that were tapped um, with a 6mm uh, and to bolt the rectifier on. Um, yeah, good luck. Custom bracket mounted, now time to bolt the MOF set on top. Okay, regulators in, wires up running through the bodywork, down through, down in here, cross under the tank. Over here, up and around, and the circuit brake is underneath the bar there. Beautiful. Hey guys, I hope that video helped out a bit to mount the um, regulator rectifier and make that little modernised bra that little bracket. If you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions on YouTube, or you know, you can contact me. I, you know, and we'll um, sort see if I can help you out. Um, yeah, I'm off to the track.